the nation remembers those who gave their todays for our tomorrows. But how is that bond permanently maintained? It's a simple deal. For those who place their lives on the line in defence of their country, the country has a duty to respect and protect them, to honour their sacrifice, to make sure they and their families are valued and treated fairly. It's called the Military Covenant. The concept goes back to Elizabethan times but had no basis in law until this government introduced the Armed Forces Covenant. That involves things like increasing council tax relief for those in active service, ensuring places at local schools for their kids and doubling welfare grants for families. There are now also community and corporate covenants so public and private sector employers can do their bit too. But does it go far enough? Very sadly, we still see quite common occurrences where people who serve in our armed forces are discriminated against in our society, and clearly that's appalling. Um, we've got to look at how we can prevent that from happening. The Covenant has a role to do in terms of, of, of supporting our armed forces, but I think we're probably quite close to the point that we need to look at other legislative measures to actually criminalise those who, who discriminate against our armed forces purely because they, they, they serve our country. And while public support for the armed forces may be at an all-time high now, that might not always be the case. My concern is that um, is, a, is a question really, will that support decline as we see the withdrawal from the Afghanistan and the media spotlight fading when actually the needs of that group of people um, uh, and the support they're going to be calling on from the nation and from organisations like the Royal British Legion are actually on the increase and will continue to increase for some time to come. But for all the good intentions and warm words from politicians and public alike, is the Covenant actually something tangible to those at the sharp end? If you are a young soldier on the front line in Afghanistan, clearly that is not going to be at the forefront of your mind. But it does matter to our armed forces. It matters to them that they're being properly looked after. It matters to them that the covenant, covenant is in good shape. So, yes, it is important to them, and they will look carefully at the way in which politicians seek to defend their interests. So, that, so the Covenant, yes, it is of real value to those who serve in our armed forces. On days like today, the nation's gratitude to our armed forces is in little doubt. What really counts, though, is how we show it in the weeks, months and years to come.